What's up, House of Hope fam? It's the Flavor King, and welcome back to another edition of Cooking with Flavor KL. Today, we're gonna make a blueberry delight. Man, this is a childhood favorite. Uh, my friend Ainsley, man, he loves this stuff. Pecan and graham cracker crust. We're gonna have some Cool Whip and cream cheese filling, and then we'll have that blueberry uh, pie filling on the top. It's a light and summery dessert. Man, a crowd pleaser. Let's get those spatulas, guys. Let's go. Okay, um, flavor gang, this is what we got. This is gonna be all of our ingredients for our pie crust for the blueberry delight. We're gonna have a fourth cup of sugar, one stick of melted butter, pecans that's been finely chopped up in my food processor, two um, things of uh, cream cheese, some graham cracker crumbs, Cool Whip, and then we're gonna have two cans of that um, blueberry compote, the, the blueberry pie filling. That's what we're gonna have right there, okay? We got our um, nine by 13 dish. So we about to get ready to put this thing together, okay? We're gonna put this in the oven on 350 degrees for about eight minutes. We're gonna mix these um, graham cracker crumbs, and these uh, pecans and butter and sugar together and form our base, okay? Okay, y'all. Uh, okay, guys, we're back. Now we're gonna put this pie crust together. So there's not, there's no measurements to this really, but I say, you know, you put in maybe two cups of um, graham cracker crumbs and add in your Pecans, I say that's about a fourth of a cup, third of a cup of um, the pecan crumbs. I like pecans, so I'm gonna add more. And then we add our sugar, one fourth cup of sugar to that. And that's just gonna help that pie crust um, get a little sweetness to it. And then we're gonna mix that up. Mix that, combine all of those together, the pecans, the sugar, and the graham cracker crumbs. And what you're looking for, we're gonna add that butter to this, and we're gonna make it a little paste. Then we can build our graham cracker, our pecan graham cracker crust with, okay? That's what we're gonna do. You see it? It's all mixed up now. Add our uh, melted butter a little bit at a time. We don't want that. We don't want this pie crust to be too wet. We just want it like a little paste. And we'll mix that in. Now, once I get the pie crust right, you know it's gonna start to crumble up like that. And you're gonna see that that's what we're looking for. That right there, okay? It's kind of consistency we're looking for. I'm going to keep on mixing this. I may add a little bit more of the butter. All right, that's about it. This y'all, it's just about a stick of butter. Might as well just go ahead and put that a little bit on in there. Stick of butter. And we're going to just keep pulling those crumbs together making our, print, our graham cracker pie crust base. That's what we're gonna do. When I come back, I'll show you how to um, get it in the pan and uh, mold it, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you how to mold your um, pie crust into your um, pan. Basically, you know, hands are clean already. You just wanna Smash that down in there. You want to make sure the pie crust is even. You don't want one side thicker than the other. You want to make a nice, even pie crust at the bottom. Because when we bake this, this will get a little firm, and then we'll add on our toppings and stuff like that. So while this is in the oven, we'll start working on our Cool Whip and cream cheese 
feel it. Okay? So that's kind of what you want to see right there. That's what you want it to look like. Okay? Now we'll be back. Um, blueberries are already in the bowl, ready to spread out, but you can do this. This recipe is so versatile. You can do it with just about any. You can do it with strawberries, bananas. I have one with I do with lemon, um, chocolate. You can do whatever you want with it, but it's very versatile dessert. Um, when the pie crust is about to come out, we're gonna let that cool while we make our Cool Whip and cream cheese um, mixture, okay? All right, guys, so look. Our crust is done. You can smell those pecans that were in that bacon, that butter, you can smell those graham crackers. We're gonna set this to the side, let it cool off, and then we're gonna make our um, our filling, which is our cream cheese, Cool Whip, and a little bit of sugar we're gonna add to that, and we're gonna mix all that together. One thing we want our cream cheese to be is extra soft. We want it to be extra soft so we're able to make it smooth and creamy and not that lumpy inside of the um, mix. So look, I have one of the um, cream cheese in, we put the second one in, and we gotta get all that stuff out of there. All right? So we're gonna get that out. We're gonna mix our, we're gonna mix our cream cheese up first. You want this to be extra soft. Uh, I may add some um, heavy whipping cream to it, just a little bit to loosen it up, but that's totally optional. Scrape down my bowl and add in the um, Cool Whip. Yeah, that's nice and soft. That's just what I was looking for. And we're gonna add a little bit more sugar to this. Um, three quarters of the way done already. friend Ainsley, man, he loves this. He called me on his birthday and said, hey, can you make this for me? It was his 50th birthday. So I told his wife how to do it. I'm not sure what happened with it, but she got the ingredients and she got directions from the king, man, from the flavor king. So he got it for his birthday. Wasn't able to get it out there to him because he lived all the way in Canada. So. so yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, good to go. It's ready for the pie crust. We're gonna gonna put this in the pie crust. Then we're gonna layer uh, a layer of pecans on it, and we're gonna put our blue our blueberries on top. Right, so look, we're gonna add our filling to the pan. So look, I use pecans in the um, in the crumb, and I'm gonna sprinkle some on the top. But look, if you have somebody in your family that has a nut allergy or any of that, then just leave out the Leave out the pecans. You can do it. You can make this, this this recipe your own. You can do it however you like to do it. Just make it, cater it to you and and the folks that you're cooking it for. Um, once we get this all situated, we're going to put this in the refrigerator and let these ingredients sit for like two hours to overnight. Overnight is optimum, but if you got to get it out and get it in a hurry, two hours is going to be just fine. It'll set. You know, you want the blueberries to be cold, the, the cream cheese and Cool Whip to set. So, and also let that crust harden up. Now, since I like pecans, I'm going to add some more pecans on this layer right here. Just add some chopped pecans to it. Not a lot, but just some more pecans. I like that crush that it gives, that earthy, nutty flavor. And then we'll add our blueberry mix to the top. And guys, there you have it. That's our blueberry delight. And like I said, you can use this. You don't have to use blueberries. You can use any kind of fruit, pineapple, 
strawberry. Okay, so now that's set. We're about to go stick this thing in the fridge and we'll be back to show you the finished product. Okay guys, now we're gonna put our um, pie in the refrigerator. We're gonna let it chill for two hours. And we're gonna come back. piece, I wanna get a good piece with that crust so you can see that crust on the bottom. Great. And that's a great, white, fluffy, delicious dessert right there. I promise you. Let's taste it. Let's give it a taste. So you see you got that pecan, graham cracker crust, the um, cream cheese and um, Cool Whip center, blueberry pie filling on the top. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Ah, oh. that's, that's some good stuff right there, guys. Like I said, you can go ahead and you can make this. This is 20 minutes um, prep time. Get two hours in the refrigerator and you're ready. Oh, I'm going to eat some more right now. When they look at the word submission, it pretty much is like, he ain't going to tell me what to do. Many times as girlfriends or fiancés, you're already submitting. Your wife is your help meet. Mm -hmm. They are helping you meet the purpose right. and the plan that God has laid out for the family. Girl, we are talking about submission in relationships. So you definitely don't want to miss this episode of the Pink Table Talk. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a unique mix of all kinds of things. Come on, Drew, spotting on this last one. Uh, there it is. Keep going with it. Leo! <laughs> they're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. I want you to talk to us about what your experience is like as a millennial in the entertainment industry. I will honestly say that my gender probably played more of a factor than my age did. She's a female, so she probably don't really know or she probably can't really. And so then they will just write me off. But we got that together. <laughs> one of the most requested pound cakes, our seven up pound cake. And so what you need to have is uh, three sticks of unsalted butter and uh, three cups of sugar, five room temperature eggs. We're gonna get the zest of uh, two lim a lime and a lemon. We'll add in some um, almond extract, vanilla um, extract, add some lemon, a teaspoon of baking powder and a pinch of salt, one cup of uh, seven up, we're gonna sift three cups of cake flour. And if you don't have a sift, I mean, this is your sifter. And guys, like, you just put your cups of sugar, two cups have already been added, put it in your sifter. Just shake it against your hand. And this is you sifting um, your flour. And that's kind of how it would look, okay? And then um, I buttered my pot, my, my blunt pan already, and put place some flour in it. And we're gonna get started. So first thing you wanna do, is um, cream together the three sticks of room temperature butter and your um, sugar. You're gonna do that for about seven minutes. You'll start this off on a, on a um, medium speed and then move it up to high. And um, maybe about a three and a half minute mark or so, we'll stop it, we'll stop it and um, scrape the sides and start it back up. Starting it off, we have our paddle attachment. We're gonna start this off on a medium speed. We want that butter and that sugar to start dancing inside the bowl. Okay, so it's gonna dance around. That's working. It's gonna be doing good. 
And once you've got the butter and the sugar all incorporated, we'll turn it up to high, the high speed until it's creamy. And like I said, we'll do that for about seven minutes. At the three and a half minute mark, we'll stop it, spread down the side, and continue for another three and a half minutes. So uh, we, what we'll do now, we'll reach that seven minute mark, and um, we're gonna add the eggs in, the five eggs, one at a time, mix until it's incorporated. And we're gonna do that. That's, oops, we did two, but that's okay. We wanna incorporate them one at a time, but we beginners, we make mistakes. So if that happens, you just get it in and just make sure you get it right the next time. That's three. Four. And five. Next, what we have here is some, um, the zest of a lime and a lemon. We're gonna add that in along with our extract. Okay, we're gonna have That's gonna make the cake so fragrant. Um, you're gonna have that lift the oil from the lemon and that lime zest that mimics that seven up and it's gonna bring all of that together. So we got a teaspoon of almond extract. A teaspoon of um, vanilla extract. I mean a lemon extract, I'm sorry. and a teaspoon of vanilla. Then what you can also do if you want to add a little more kick Let's um, get a, a strainer and the half of the lemon, get the juice out of there and add it to the mix. All it's going to do is give it more flavor along with that lemon and lime zest. Now uh, once this mixture is done, we'll be moving on to the next phase of putting the cake together. We've um, sifted our three cups of cake flour. This is just the baking powder. I uh, forgot to add that in. And a pinch of salt, all right? So we get that, we'll mix that around. All right, so we'll mix that around. And what we'll do is add a cup of cake flour and a cup of, I mean, a third of is the seven up and we'll alternate that. You get a cup of cake flour, add it to our mixer, and a third cup of um third cup of vinegar. I mean seven up. And like I said we alternate that. Every until it's blended. Oh, that smells, that smells amazing. Okay, one cup of flour. Third cup of seven up. There a cup of flour.
Okay, uh, we'll scrape down our paddle. I'm gonna cake batter off. And then we'll add this to our butt pan. Nice, silky, fluffy batter. You can see the specks of um, lemon and lime zest in there. And we add it to our butt pan. And we just smooth it out. Oh. All right, guys, uh, we have our oven set at 325, and we're gonna bake this cake for an hour and 15 minutes on 325. Um, I'll see you when I come back out, and uh, we'll set the timer. Start. All right, we'll see. These movements like COVID, BLM, how do you think it's affected the Black dollar? It's affected the Black dollar, especially with COVID-19, where so many people have lost their jobs. And I don't think people knew to the extent of the loss it was going to be. It's a bit devastating, but I don't say it's the end of the world. I definitely right. try to help people get on the right track so when the next COVID comes, we're together. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. And slowly, he learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at AutismSpeaks.org. A lot of times it's easy to attach your identity to something you do or somewhere you work because you don't like who you are. In regards to getting to know who you are, one piece that people have to really be ready to is, is look at themselves honestly. A lot of times we want to sell ourselves an idea of ourselves rather than who we really are. What's up, Flavor Gang, and welcome back to Cooking with Flavor KL. Today, we're gonna to be making some key lime cupcakes. So here's the ingredients. We have one 15 ounce box of um, Duncan Hines lemon cake mix. We have a three ounce bo uh, box of gelatin. We have four teaspoons of sugar, one tablespoon of um, self-rising flour, right, one and a third cups of vegetable oil, three fourths cup of orange juice, four eggs, two limes, and the zest of two lemons. It's our gelatin. 
cake mix. Sit on. Okay, gang, look. We're gonna um, put our cupcake filling into the liners. I'm gonna use one teaspoon plus a small ice cream scoop to get the perfect amount of flavor into your linings, okay? Where you're not spilling over, but you still have more than just a small little cupcake, okay? So we'll probably make about a two and a half inch cupcake. I'll show you I'll show you a couple of these and then I'll come back and do them all. So I'll put in a teaspoon, teaspoon of the um, mix. And I'll do that all the way through, all 24, and then I'll come back with my ice cream scoop. That's kind of the process right there. Scoop it in. So I'll do the remaining 22, and when I come back, we'll go into the oven. Okay, guys, we've got the um, liner filled up, and uh, we're gonna get ready to put it in the oven. We have the oven set at 335, and we're gonna bake these for 13 minutes. And they'll be going into the oven. Okay, guys, as you can see, the cupcakes are out of the oven. And we're getting ready to make the um, icing for the cupcake. We're going to make a, uh, a lime-flavored um, icing. So I'm going to add about, um, I'm going to add the one stick of butter. And I'm going to add um, one eight-ounce cream cheese. I'm gonna cream that together. Once that's done, I'll add half of the um, confection sugar, some vanilla, I'll zest the lime, the lime and um, we'll put the icing on the cupcakes. We'll be back. All right, so we're gonna add the cream. We're gonna make some cream cheese icing. We're gonna... As you can see inside the bowl, we're starting to cream it. Um, we've let it beat, we let it mix for about three minutes. We're gonna scrape down the sides. We got the um, cream cheese and the butter incorporated. Uh, now I'm gonna zest the lime and get the juice. When you're zesting, you just wanna get that top part the top layer of the green. If you go down too far, you get to the white and you'll get a lot of the bitter taste from the from the lime or the lemon or whatever it is you're gonna zest. So you want to make sure you're getting the top part of the fruit. So now we add the juice of the lime. 
and that's gonna incorporate the lime flavor into the ice. I'm gonna give it a nice tangy zest. So we're gonna we're gonna beat this for about another uh, minute, minute and a half, and then we'll add our sugar. About a minute and a half. We're gonna scrape down the bowl again and then we're gonna add our um, perfection sugar into the mix. We have that butter, cream cheese, the lime zest, the lime juice, all incorporated into that butter and cream cheese mixture. I'm gonna pour about a pound of the um, perfection sugar in. We can add it a little bit at a time. I don't want to give you a dust storm, so we'll add it in a little bit at a time. And then we should have a nice, creamy, smooth ice cream. With a very tangy, with a tangy, with a tangy um, lemon flavor to it lime flavor to it. So we're gonna add some more of the powdered sugar mix. All right, that's about half of the, that's about a pound of the ice cream. We're gonna let that mix. Okay, um, now we got the icing done. As you see, it's creamy and smooth. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of vanilla to that. And we're gonna let that, that paddle stir that in for another 35 seconds. And then we're gonna be back to icing our cupcake. I'm gonna place the icing into a piping bag with a tip. And um, we're gonna put the um, icing on the cupcake. Okay guys, so I'm gonna come out now. I'm gonna put the um, icing on the um, cupcakes. Got my piping bag and my tip on. I don't uh, remember the, the number on the tip right now, but um, once I'm done, I'll um, put the tip in the description. That's Flavor King's original cap on the cupcakes. Okay, so after we do these, I'll be right back with the finished product. Thank you. All right, final product done. Ooh, I know those kitchens smelling lovely over there. Now, if you found value in these videos, hook a brother up. Man, look, like, Share and subscribe to Cooking with Flavor KL. And look, I don't want to be alone. So tune in next week. Same place, same time. Until then, just do what you do. But do it with flavor. Peace.